Hey YouTubers. Um, okay, I'm going to try to fix this cylinder head off my Suzuki 250. Um, so you the camera can pick this up. You can see the problem I'm facing uh, right here. Um, broke off below the surface. Um, I'm after making a number of attempts at this. Of course, tried torch heat, uh, didn't work. Uh, tried uh, welding little blobs in there, and uh, because this is a cast and the bolt itself is steel, so tried uh, welding little blobs onto it and then grabbing it with voice grips, and they keep snapping off, can't get anywhere with it. Tried about 10 20 times. Um, tried drilling it, I guess the metal, of course. The bolts are already grade 8 steel, but it's probably even gotten harder with tempering. And uh, drill bits are useless. <clears throat> so, uh, going to make an attempt uh, to get at this. Uh, this is going to be a video showing uh, how a Pepsi bottle and uh, these flyers and a baking spice can probably help me get this bolt out. And uh, give this little camera here a try too. I am pro. Just picked that up. Off of uh, eBay, uh, brand new for uh, 75 bucks Canadian. So uh, I'm going to use that for the rest of this video. Uh, just uh, see if we can get this uh, bolt out using this method. Anyway, let's splice and put together this video and see how it goes. All right. So this is uh, alum from aluminum alum powder uh, you get that baking supply stores I got that bulk burn it's uh, used in a pickling agent for uh, doing pickles I suppose or preservatives um, apparently you mix this with water and uh, it dissolves metals like iron but it doesn't hurt aluminum or those type of metals copper brass so the idea is to soak this in a bath of that alum and it's supposed to eat away the metal um, but leave the cast aluminum alone in this cylinder head uh, the only problem is I can't soak this in a complete bath because the cylinder wall right here is an insert of steel so I can't really put this down in a complete bath I have to separate this area here now I made an attempt yesterday well windshield washer bottles I love them you can keep them they're cheap you, there's usually dozens of them left around especially after a winter here in Canada uh, you can get them everywhere so I cut them up and use them as parts washers like I got done here or uh, containers for different things uh, in this case here I drilled a hole down in one end of it um, and then on the bottom I uh, put some uh, gasket maker some silicone gasket maker and I had this taped on and balanced on here yesterday over that hole but it, uh, it worked a tiny bit it got a little bit of it out but eventually it leaked and uh, it didn't seem to work I couldn't get at it very well so today I'm gonna try something a little different I got an old Pepsi bottle I'm gonna use I'm gonna cut this up um, what I've already done is I've drilled a hole a little bit larger in the cap and uh, the idea is I'm going to fix this cap on here and that'll give me a better ability to get at that. I will then uh, cut this bottle off around here somewhere. So when I tip it upside down I can put the solution in here, let it balance on there. Put it all inside of my handy dandy liquid catcher just in case it spills over and uh, see if the chemicals can do the work. So. Uh, instead of using gasket maker on that, I'm going to use a uh, old hot glue gun. I'll glue that on around there. And then I'll take my Pepsi container and screw it back in there. And fill it full of solution. And uh, let's see if we can get rid of that bolt. Alright. Just about three or four attempts later. Trying to get that hot glue gun to this here so it's watertight. I got the water in there and nothing leaking out. So 
Now we have to mix up the solution and put in there. That's just water right now. Testing the waterness. Water, see how watertight it is. And uh, yeah, back in a second with the uh, actual solution in there. Okay, so the uh, bolt is way down there. That's the alum parter in there, in the bottom of this other half of the Pepsi bottle. We're going to mix up. Um, this is just some plain boiled water and uh, nice and hot. And this is just some hydrogen peroxide, which is supposed to help speed up the process. That's just medical grade 3%. And uh, the wife's chopstick, don't tell her. I'm using to mix this up with. It's warm, but it's not hot, hot. Oh, let's see what this will do. Start off with that much. Just to see, it doesn't leak out. All right, let's poke the beast down there. Just make sure to oh, I'm seeing some bubbles. Yeah, a little stream of bubbles right there. Look, coming up. See them? I don't know if you can see them with this camera. But a little stream of bubbles steadily coming up. Shows the reaction has started. I like to scrape the surface now and then, just in case. You can see more and more bubbles are coming up. That's just a reaction from the metal. Of course, the metal on the screwdriver, too, but yeah, she gets some good action going there, that's for sure. And. It's not too hot to touch. It's pretty warm, but... Oh yeah, she's bubbling good there. Be interesting to see what happens. Pour a little bit in there. Like I said, I don't want to dissolve the glue. Alright. And... Just to show you... Close pin. Just clean one. Let's just watch this. I'm not sure I'm working. We'll check in on it. But that's still bubbling away. I don't know if you can see the bubbles. Hopefully you can. Alright. See what will do the trick. Look at that. Five minutes. Five minutes into it. And hey, look at the bubbles. See all the bubbles? coming off of that and that's the rust and already this bright shiny clip has gone right dark black with this trigger rust being left behind still bubbling away all right it's been about two hours and I don't know if you can see it because this new camera I got no way of looking at the video while it's recording not yet I haven't figured it all out but uh, this is about two hours later uh, I just added a tiny bit more of the solution but if you can see in the middle there the bubbles are still coming up fast and furious um, 
So hasn't leaked through yet. Hoping it'll it'll eat all the way down through the metal. But uh, anyway, still working away. I'm gonna give it 24 hours or more. See how much of it eats away. Um, see how it does. Here's a look at the uh, the clothespin tang or whatever you want to call it. A lot more rust in there. It's really uh, it's really eating away at it. Although it's still fairly solid. I mean, there's a lot of metal there, believe it or not. But, uh, I mean, it's got all the silver coating gone off. It's definitely thinning out. And that's why after two hours in a small bit of the solution, I, I, I got a feeling that after a while it's going to use up all the chemicals. But, you know, uh, just to show you how it's doing. Anyway, check in out tomorrow next day and I'll let you know how it does. Bubble, bubble.